Mmm. Sleepy this morning. 2, 1, 30 in the morning, bedtimes, and then back up and running at 7. Not so much fun. Okay, my day starts with uh, loading some seed for Dad. See Eric and Steve there getting the water tender ready. They're extremely behind on spraying 28% and triple flex out. And also he's getting pretty behind on land rolling, so he's feeling the pressure. He'll have that thing doing 17 all season. Ready for a big day? I think so. Now I am. How many acres are you behind? Uh, At least a thousand. Enough. Enough. At least a thousand. It's not that bad. It's maybe like 990. <laughs> Alright, yeah. we'll get to it. We're loaded up. It. Hurry up. I gotta go load seed. So Four boxes. Okay. Five boxes. You gonna go get your own seed today? Or I'm does on. Steve have to go do that? Uh, you better keep him on you. <laughs> need another operator just for today though I gotta read the text message to make sure I get the right seed loaded the wife's texting so I better respond or I'll get killed two boxes of 195.18 oh yeah it's buried at the back and two boxes of Pioneer 97.72 we'll start with that that looks like a good one I think that we can all agree that I need a self-loading seed tender for this trailer. I don't like some danger right away when you crawl out of bed. And now I just bent my fingernail back. Look at that. Ah. Living on the edge. I think of all the people that were so scared right there. Just another day. No, to be serious, guys, that is extremely dangerous, and I would never suggest doing that. That's actually why I do it, because I don't want Eric up there, and I don't want my 50-year-old dad up there doing that. So that's why I always volunteer to load seed. Plus, it's kind of, no one else is ever here. They're always in the tractors. But it is something on my list. I want to update that to something safer, because obviously, I slip, I fall, I die, or get severely hurt, and I'm out for the season, or forever. So that is something that I want to update after this season, maybe. We'll see, I don't know. But them dang seed tenders, I think we got like 3,500 bucks into that one, into the tender itself, and then the stupid motor costs as much as the whole tender did to set up. Buy a nice tender, spend 30 grand on them. I don't know, but 30 grand's a lot cheaper than a broken leg or neck or end of your life. So yeah, that is something that is on my list. Dad, I'm sure will disagree, but. supposed to be dripping this ain't good well there's your problem these things work better when they're shut the good news is it's only 28% fertilizer it shouldn't be that bad to soak in and it won't rust anything on this sprayer 
That's exactly what it'll do. Come into a turn, hit the brakes, and this lid must have worked its way loose. And the force that pushed that lid open, it looked like a fire hydrant busted and was just spraying out the top. I got a huge puddle on the field. No weed should grow there. Alrighty, seeds loaded. Five boxes in there, two different varieties. The thing holds eight boxes, so we're not to capacity yet. And it is getting warm outside. It's supposed to be 80 today. Beautiful Saturday. Those that aren't working, I'm sure, are going to really, really enjoy today. Because the weather is unbelievable. Time to lose the sweatshirt. Man, it's like a whole different town. We moved up north and everywhere. There's tractors everywhere. Everybody and their dog is out. I feel late to the game. So Tony's there. Randy was the guy you just seen. Randy's working uh, ground for dad to stay ahead of dad. Tony's trying to get some ready for, for me. I got a hundred acres to plant here. This is a half section mile long rounds. The only thing good about this land up north is that big fields and nice and square. No really obstacles at all. So you can get a lot done per day. So today should be a big day for dad. He's hoping to get like 550, 600 acres done today. We'll see if he gets there. I don't ever get a good jump on the day because I gotta bring seed tenders out and I gotta fix stuff and it is what it is. So I'm happy if I can get two to 300 a day done. But that's, you get to run till like one in the morning if you're gonna try and do that. And I'm getting pretty wore down from doing that. All right, there we go. He's set up and I should be able to go get in a planter finally, so. Let's get to it. Did I call it or what? It's 11.59 and I'm just getting to the field. Normally don't get off the yard with the planter till around noon. It's that much stuff that needs to get done before I can go drive stuff. Which is fine, I've been busy. I've been swamped actually. And the other thing is the diggers are still in the field. They squared off about 100 acres yesterday for me to do today. And now they're finishing the rest of it because they're really struggling getting ahead of me and dad. When you can plant 800 plus acres a day, the diggers really gotta be moving. I just needed to plant this headland right here by the approach. I can't go that way because I haven't finished the headlands and digging, it's too wet yet. So I just planted that way so I can get the seed tender back into the field and get it off the road. Nothing to it, now I'm set up. For when I need seed, I'll just back right up, know right where I need to be. So let's get back to planting, back and forth. Mile long rounds on this pig, it's gonna be a uh, nap time probably. So we're coming up to a dike right now, basically just a, a giant dam that holds water back in big rain events and makes it go down a tile instead of eroding the side hill. I don't know if the camera picks up the train here, but we're gonna be right on the top and both of the wings are gonna be flexing down. So I hope we don't cut any more wires or hoses. Let's make her flex though. The camera does not do that justice. It can't flex enough, They're, those row units are off the ground. Then you can see the corn planter last year missed those same rows. 
but it is what it is because you either don't play at the top or you're gonna miss some on the side. But that was some flexing. Any hydraulic leaks? Do you see any? Honestly, I maybe should get out and look it over. I even had her flexing so much it flipped my wheel upside down over there. It'll come back when I hit a bump. The walking tandems get stuck flipped up. That's so dumb. Like, why would it be allowed to do that? Maybe you can see a little better what I'm talking about. See the big ridge there? Pretty sharp. It saves this whole side hill right here from being eroded. You can see it's pretty indented there from before that used to be there, but that being tiled saves erosion huge. That looks good. The things I don't do. It's supposed to be plant corn. Sounds like uh, Blackjack's engine blew up. Something about the piston maybe went through the oil pan? Or something's through the oil pan and she's she's done inside of the road. So me and Steve are gonna have to run over there and either pull him home or see what the heck is going on. He's 10 miles east of the farm. We're 20 miles west. It's about to get exciting. The video's about to get exciting at our cost. So currently me and Steve are uh, heading back to the farm with the trucks to unhook the seed tender from the service truck, get a Yankum rope, probably the two inch Yankum rope because he's loaded. I don't want to break the little one. It's definitely rated for hauling 80,000 pounds and then we get to try to pull him home at 30. Connecting an arrow is from the shop truck to his truck so he has air brakes. Oh yeah, last time I did that, we took a tranny out of a semi. And that was gonna, that fix it bill was a lot cheaper than what this is gonna be. Just when things were really going good. He's not pleased. So what do you think happened? I, there was a loud noise? Or no, was there no just noise? total loss in power. Let go of the throttle. Engine died. And then I climbed out and... Seen this? Yeah. So you say there's a hole in something? Bottom of the oil pan. <laughs> like someone took that. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Let the record show. I advise not to do this. Yeah, she's locked up. <laughs> Just she locked it up. That's the first time on our farm ever that we've ever locked an engine up. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. I should not laugh, but why is the radiator wet too? Oh, you overheated her. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he says. Oh boy. Well, we get to pull her home now. Shouldn't shouldn't really laugh. This ain't really a laughing matter, but if you don't laugh you'll cry. Alrighty. We got uh, air from this truck hooked up to that truck's air tank. Got uh, 100 feet of hose, yank them a rope for good stretchiness. We're gonna have fun. Nothing to see here. <laughs> We're ready. My door taped shut. Yank them's ready. All right. 
We're ready. It's gonna be a slow drive. Of course, he had to die at the bottom of the hill. He couldn't even make it up the hill. She's pulling. Enough air to make it to the yard. You're out. Yeah. We had to uh, hook up with the right side of the truck hose because the left side's junk. So add that to the bill. So we wrapped it around the Yankum rope instead of up to the top. Should have just taped it to the top of the rope. But we wanted leeway because the Yankum rope is kinetic energy so it stretches a lot. Which is nice because you didn't even know he was back there. Like when he'd step on the brakes all you'd feel is a little tug. No violent jerking. Which is what they're designed for. Which by the way, the link for them in the description below. Go to our website, there's discount code and everything. Nonetheless, we got a broke down truck. We're gonna have to detach it somehow, but now it's fully loaded, so I'm concerned about doing that. And I have to hook my seed tender back up because I'm gonna need seed tonight. Dad's probably waiting for fertilizer and here we sit. Yeah, good times. Be a farmer, they said. It'll be fun, they said. At least we have some excitement in our life. Not that it's good excitement, but Gets the heart rate up. It's a dang good thing we bought another truck. This is why we wanted a fifth truck because they do break down. Well, this is a severe breakdown, but. Instantly spun out. I really don't know what's going on. The truck has spun out, now made holes. So we had to use the one inch yank them the last time and had the green Dodge spin in all fours. Now we get to do that again. At least this time we'll videotape it. Now you'll actually get to see what a kinetic energy rope's all about, because I really had to give them the beans the last time. You like that snap? So here's our lovely problem. We've spun out. We got her that time, finally. Low four with the big meats on this pickup. She really tugs. So Big Black is now on the seed tender. He's heading down. Luckily dad didn't have to stop planting for this whole rigmarole. It's been almost shameful. So we had to take the mud flaps off of Big Black because the fifth wheel plate's too close to the trailer and we're gonna get ripped off so we took them off. But you might know that the studs were rusty, so the big Milwaukee twisted them right off so the mud flaps junk anyways. At least it didn't get into the tire or something stupid like that. So, where are we going to go with this wreck? Right up in here. Ah! Oh, terrible videoing! <laughs> I'm out of reach! What kind of... I'm out of reach! I'm going to have to... We're going to have to back up, shorten it up. I can't leave it dilapidated sitting there. <laughs> Are you good? Who's driving it? It's pretty good. The tires even straightened up. It'll, it'll turn. <laughs> Had it quadrupled up. It'll... Oh, poor Blackie. Sure didn't take him long to wreck it. <laughs> this is actually, I take that back. This is the second time we have uh, locked up a truck. Because this truck scarred a piston, is that how you say it? Scored a piston? Once before, so. But now, 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 maybe a nice 379 piece now. Upgrade, upgrade to upgrade. I know Doug's not gonna wanna get rid of it. Is he emotionally attached to it? Yeah. And yeah. it was his first semi, I know. Oh, everything is so tight. Don't scuff it. Night, Blackjack. Rest in peace. Yet to be determined your fate. 
All right, at least the Inkum rope survived. They really saved the day today. Should have one on every piece of equipment if this is how this is gonna go. So guys, if you're interested in a Yankum rope, you can save 5% in the link in the description or go to larsonfarmsmn.com and you will see the discount code there and the link. A little rough there. All right guys, I think we're gonna call it a night on the videoing. I think we got great plenty. I've kind of had it with the day. I get to go now out and go plant late. I was supposed to be done at 9.30. Now I'll be done at 1.30. So thanks, Eric. Yet to be determined what truly caused this lockup issue. If something failed inside the engine or if he overheated it or if the engine fan sensor went shot and it's an aftermarket gauge in there so it don't alarm you if it overheats. So don't know. May never know. He's locked up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.